Welcome to the Fabric Multiverse Deployment course. This is the first main section and here we will covering what kind of network we are going to create, what kind of configuration we are going to use and what are the different fabric components and where we are going to deploy it. These are all the things we will try to cover here. First of all, we are going to deploy our hyperledger fabric network on the different machines. So what kind of different machines we are going to use. As per our network configuration, we will be using total 4 virtual machines. You can see in the screen, this is the first one, virtual machines 1, 2nd, 3rd and the 4th. And each virtual machine will host one organization, all the services related to the that particular organization. So virtual machine 1 will host all the necessary services for the organization 1. Virtual machine 2 will host all the services for the organization 2, virtual machine 3 for organization 3 and finally virtual machine 4 for all the order services. We will create a channel in between this and these all the services will be running on that particular virtual machine. Using docker swarm network we will be having communication between these different services like organization 1 and organization 2 and organization 3 so we will create one channel here after creating the channel we will have a communication in between them using this docker swarm network on the different virtual machine another one thing what kind of different components we are going to use in each organizations like organization 1 organization 2 and organization 3 and again in term, when we talk about the consensus algorithm we will be using raft and total we will be using three raft orderer on the screen you can see here this is the total configuration for each organization for the organization one we will have two total peers peer 0 and peer 1 and peer 0 would be the endorsing peer which will hold a smart contract and peer 1 would be the normal peer and you we can say here we can see that each peer is holding the current state database that is cows db so in this network we will be using current state database as the cows database for the organization one each organization how their own certified authority instance you can see for organization one here certified authority one is there for organization two certified authority two organization three certified authority three for order organization we will have their own certified authority it means for each organization they have their own certified authority so using this certificate authority we will be creating all the necessary certificates for bootstrapping our application organization one will be on the virtual machine one you can see there are total four virtual machines so in our hyper as a fabric network we will be using total four virtual machines and on these different four virtual machines we will be hosting our simple basic hyperledger fabric application you can see here for organization 2 we have two peers organization 3 we have two peers and for the order organization we have three different orders and each organization have one endorsing peer peer 0 is the endorsing peer for each organi peer organization org 1 org 2 and org 3 you can see here uh, these endorsing peers are holding smart contract you can see in the diagram and each peer uses current state database as a cows database and in between these three different organization we will be creating a separate channel and using this channel we will deploy some business logic smart contract and using that smart contract we will be invoking the transactions and querying the transactions so that would be the purpose of this whole course what kind of hosting cloud provider we are going to use we can use any so i will be using here google cloud platform so I, we can create four different virtual machines of course that would be linux only and these four virtual machines we will be setting these all the things for organization one organization two organization three and the order organization using docker swarm network we will be having this communication in between this different type of virtual machines that's it for this video. See you in the next one.